but musical a little too. Yeah. If you think of the cold open of this show, our little musical intro, you see in there this small clip of me training for American Ninja Warrior, <laughs> which, as you could have expected, is a really hard thing to win. Only mm -hmm. two people have yeah. done it. It's... And the most recent one, who happens to own the gym from that clip, is back. <laughs> Easily jumps to the second set of handles. And he is moving even faster than he was in the regular season. Three obstacles down in less than a minute. You know all these USA fans want to see him finish. Here with more is American Ninja Warrior champion Drew Dreschel. Great to have you back, Drew. Thank you. Thank as you the me. champ. <laughs> so proud of you. I'm proud of myself. It was a lot of work. Yeah, how many attempts? This was my ninth year competing. Um, it was a, a lot of nine years of a lot of work. <laughs> and now you have a son. I do, yeah, he's uh, seven, eight weeks, so. so. how do you train when you're also training? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't training. figured that out yet. We're Which still is harder? Technically in off season, so um, I'm going to have to start worrying about the training and the kid within the next couple weeks, though. I know you train really hard, Drew, but what sets you apart? Because a lot of, everybody trains really hard. Yeah. Uh, Why think, did you win? I think my, my biggest attribute to my success is the fact that the way I can look at obstacles and analyze them, I just think my brain works a little differently, so. Mm -hmm. um, the knowledge and experience from not only doing American Ninja Warrior, but traveling the world doing other competitions as well. I have a lot more experience doing obstacles and courses than a lot of other people. Because I've been, one, doing it a long time, and two, I do, I travel around the world. I compete all the time. There was a big thing last year where Mark Wahlberg released his training schedule and involved him waking up at like 2 a.m. Yeah. And, and can you tell I can us, relate. I want you to tell us just how much harder you train than everyone else. What is so your schedule? Something I did a little bit differently last year than I've done previous years was because we film at night, a lot of people don't know this, we start filming around 8, 30, 9 at night. We go till about 6 or 7 in the morning, whenever sunrise for that city is. So I actually flipped my sleep schedule starting February mm. to compete in uh, Jan uh, March, April, May, June. Um, I started going to sleep at around 10 a.m., waking up at 5 p.m., and then I was up all night. So I not only was training a lot, but doing at the times where I'd normally be competing. So my body was awake and ready to go at 2, 3, 4 a.m. Oh, he's so perfect so to raise a kid now. Typically when, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah you're I, I, haven't stopped, I haven't switched my sleep schedule <laughs> back, by the way. It's yeah. great. So it was, my body was ready to move, and like during the training, the same time I was competing. So that was huge. I, I noticed a lot of other competitors were starting to get tired and yawning, and they had to run two or three courses in a single night. Mm. I felt great, and it, was, it, it definitely showed on the course. When you win American Ninja Warrior, and you <laughs> get to the top of, what is it called again? Mount, Mount Midoriyama. Midoriyama, you win a million bucks. Correct. So what are you going to do with your million dollar win? Um, I'm looking to move back to Florida. Oh. Um, I want to get a couple more of my gyms open down here. Mm -hmm. So I've got four right now, hoping to get a couple more, South Florida, Tampa, Orlando area. And my family's here. So it's really nice to be back here with my family. That's why I'm actually in town. And then also I got my family on my own. And it's going to be nice to have the parents around to help out too. Yeah, I well, bet. I'm glad you mentioned opening up new gyms because as, as I mentioned in the intro, I've been to one of your gyms, one yes. of the original Windsor. We have some footage, and I was hoping you could critique me, Drew Dreschel, champion. Uh, How's that look? That looks pretty good. Decent amount of speed. I don't really like the jump, heel clip, and the landing. What about the boxers? Very, Do you like the boxers, Drew? Uh, I can't comment on that. Sorry, I don't it was sort of leprechaun-y, the way you nice jump. Nice I-beam climb. I'd probably sit back a little bit more so your weight goes into it. I need more glutes, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed just looking <laughs> at it. Getting down is much harder. I just kind of slid. and I was like a frozen iguana when I get right, to Right, right, right. Coming down is a little more scary. Oh, this yeah. is hard. This, That's I the salmon ladder. Oh, oh, That's I pretty high, right? <laughs> yeah, the salmon ladder is fun. But the fact that you got up one notch, I'm impressed by. Oh. Well, he kind of just jumped and threw the bar up and let go of it. But right, right. Hey, that was a much better attempt on the steps, though. I got to give you that one. Really? Yeah. Oh, is this I, a full run? Look at yeah, you doing multiple obstacles. Run. Oh. Yeah. I see your hands on top of that log. That's kind of a no-go. Oh, is that a no-no? No yeah, but it's fine. This is hard. That's how we have the five-year-olds do it. Grab the top. You're doing. Oh, right. perfect. Oh. So I just made it to my white belt. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, this your one body is the clip. moving a little weird. Oh, oh, there we go. I was going to say, Cheater. it doesn't look right. Your feet were on the floor. <laughs> you don't seem to have gravity affecting. This is hard. This, this is hard. Yes, yeah, oh, little nunchucks? fingertips. That yeah. vertical grip is something a lot of people don't practice. They do bars and stuff, but not like a rope or a nunchuck. <gasps> I can't believe you got up that. That was Thank pretty good. Whoa. Who threw you? <laughs> you <have> a, <laughs> that was pretty good. That's a 14-foot wall, by the way. I am so impressed right now. Do you think I have a shot, Drew Dreschel? No, it's 14 and a half now on the show. So <laughs> oh, you have to get okay, yeah. I got every inch there. There's you no got to practice a little bit, but uh, honestly, it's not as hard as a lot of people think. It, it requires a certain amount of physical ability, but then there's just, if you figure out 
the two or three, four things that you have to do mm. and do those things, the obstacles themselves are pretty easy. A lot of the really good ninja warriors seem to have a gymnastics background mm -hmm. or a rock climbing background. Did, what was your background? Uh, I played sports ever since I was like four or five years old. I started t-ball. I've done all sports throughout high school. Um, I never did gymnastics. I never did rock climbing until I started ninja because every little bit from each of those disciplines helps in a way, right? Mm -hmm. Trampoline is good in gymnastics. You have to learn that, uh, not to mention awareness. Right. Uh, when it comes to um, rock climbing, that finger strength, the body control. I grew up doing parkour, I guess. I did about yeah. 10 years of parkour and okay. training. Uh, it's kind of like urban gymnastics, but um, that was my discipline going into Ninja Warrior. Right. You, could, you could stop now, but you're going to keep going? I'm going to try to keep going, yes. I mean, I'm the second person to ever win, which means someone already won. Right. No one's won it twice yet, so oh. maybe I can be the first person to win it twice. If anybody can. It's probably me. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Nice. We're on the same page here. <laughs> yeah, it's probably me. No, I was just going to say how interesting it is that someone would dedicate their whole life to a, a game show. I mean, a lot of people, yeah. I, for me, I look at myself as being an athlete. I'm a competitor. Right? You I'm competitive. Are, oh, yeah. I'm competitive in everything I do. Um, but we got to remember, it's it, it's a, it is it's a game show. It's a TV show that you're and, really um, good at. I'm okay at it. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, He's I so hope modest. He's, okay. <laughs> He's one of two people. At, more men have walked on the moon than completed what you have done. So Drew, yeah. thank you for taking no time problem. out of that while thank you. raising a child. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got to bring him on. You guys got to see him. Yeah, he's we do. A, like a little mini me. He's adorable. Oh, well, he's climbing stuff all the time. What that means. He's almost standing. Oh yeah, seven gosh. weeks. He's in a bigger out. crib. He's going to climb out of it. Yeah, yeah. no, I got to watch him carefully. Drew Dreschel, good luck. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate Best it. Best of luck. Thank we'll you. be right back.